All right, here we go. Time for weigh-ins. Let's see, let's see. Oh, not a problem. I had to make 80 kilo, and that's that's easy. Totally easy. Not a problem at all. Time to eat, Auden. Oh, yeah. Time to get big. Right. Jody, are you doing both arms? We first started out with left arm. Now, we go all the way through the entire class till we had one person on A side, one person on B side. Then we'd do the same for right, and then we'd have finals on both arms at the same time at the end. Table three, Joshua and Hayden. Very evenly matched. Elliot and Zachary. First a boy. Crazy match on top. It's my play, Jay. Oh, my versus Martial. Table four. We've got a match going on here. Up and down we go. We've got a hand battle on table four. Dally really driving without Martial. That switch he can put that shoulder forward. As soon as we gripped up, I felt that his cup and hand were very strong, so I wanted to try to beat them outside and didn't want to get caught in the hook with him because I could feel that that was going to be where he wanted to go. So after that, I realized that his hand was going to be super strong, so if I wanted to beat it, I'd have to go as high as I could and prioritize height over everything else, so that's what I went for in the setup. Table one, Lee Carrio, Felix Scapio. Winner last match, Ashton Dog. Now, because I went so high and because his cup was so strong, he was able to turn me over and really lock that hook in, and I realized that that was not how I was supposed to beat him. During that match, I also totally ripped my elbow open, and as you can see, he was totally pouring blood all over the pads, so I had to have a quick intermission to fix that. Now, my next match was against a guy named Vincent. Now, I know Vincent because he goes to a club very close to me, and every single time we've ever been on the practice table, he's beaten me convincingly, so I was worried going into this one. As you can see, there's a difference between practice and tournament. So now I'm facing a guy that I'd already faced on the A side. I beat him originally, and now we're back on the B side. Now, the first time wasn't too much of an issue, so I expected it to go very similarly, and I let him set up without too much of an issue because I wanted to save my strength for the coming rounds. He's covering it again. He's covering that thumb. He's covering that thumb still. A lot of pressure in the setup right now. A little bit of movement. Table number three. That is the end for Elliot. Larry takes the one on table four. And now for my big rematch. This guy had previously put me onto the B side. Now, I knew that his cup was going to be super strong, and I had a couple ideas what to do. My main idea was a low hand top roll and just crack his wrist as hard as I could, and then from there I could probably work. So that's what I go for. Now, after setting up with them repeatedly and putting a lot of pressure in during the setups, I felt that his wrist was starting to buckle a little bit. So I knew that my low hand top roll technique was working. So I decided that in the straps, I would really stick to that as hard as I could and hope that I could crack his wrist. All right, strapping things up on table four. Nogler and Larrett, this has been a good match. Going back and forth, there's one foul on Larrett. On deck, table one, Esteban Arnado. Yeah! Winning that match secured me a seat in the finals for left hand. So now, it was on to the right hand bracket. Now I have back-to-back -back matches opening up the tournament, which was super weird to me. I still don't really understand why that happened. Maybe some scheduling issue. But once again, I'm back with Vincent, who is, like I said, very, very strong in practice and 
had me very worried. I felt very confident, right? But who knows exactly how it was going to go. So I still took him very, very seriously. Luckily, I was able to secure that win again. Luca and Felix Castillo. Luca, winner. On deck for table three, Madison Banks. Now, gripping up with my next opponent, I could feel immediately that I was going to be able to get through his wrist. So all that I did is I made sure that my setup was high and that I would be able to roll as soon as he said go. So those are what my priorities were. You get that? And Table one winner was Axton. We are now moving on. Big hook war right now. Wow, these guys going back and forth. Oh, no, that was straight out. Get to that war. Move the book. It's the double kings, ladies and gentlemen. It has arrived. Oh, my God. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah. So now the guy that beat me left. And I came back and beat him left. I'm now facing on the right hand. Now my right hand is way more dominant than my left. So I felt that I would have a much higher chance of winning this one. But I knew how he pulled on his left hand. And I figured it would be very similar. So I set up in similar ways with my low hand and prioritizing the roll. He's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding your left. No, no, no. There it is. And luckily, my hand control was just a little bit too much for him on the right. Peter. Now it's time for my favorite match of the night. With all the brackets completed, it was time for the finals. Now, I started out in left hand, and my opponent I knew was going to be the huge favorite in this one because, as you guys may know, my left is not very good. So I thought that if he forced it inside, he would almost definitely get me. And you can see what happens. Finals, 18, 60K. Now we're on to the right-handed finals. Now this one was going to be very interesting because I felt incredibly strong on my right. I was on the A side and he was on the B side. Now I've pulled him previously because I've gone to a couple of Quebec practices and I know that he is incredibly, incredibly strong so I didn't underestimate him. My plan was originally just to blast through his hand as hard as I could and just basically flash pin him through the hand. Go! High grip! Go! Now, when he caught me there, I did not like that at all, and I all of a sudden got much more worried. So I thought that I still had a chance of going through his hand and just rolling him out as hard as I could. So once again, I set up for height and trying to roll. Back to table four now. Lucia needs to win twice. Never need to put this away right now. Deep in the so now it was 1-1 and the next match was the deciding one. So I decided uh, I was a little bit stuck and got some help from somebody who knows a little bit about arm wrestling. Up to the table again, take a minute, both of you, Kylie and Esteban. Winner two, number two. Show him his number. Show him his number. Show him his number. Okay, like show him. Get your reach, that's it. Show him. And wham. Yeah, I'll try now, with some new advice, some new tips, I thought that I would have a chance in this one, and I was going to give it my best to do what I've been told. One and one in this tournament. Go. This is for the championship. Go. 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 Although I did foul, that one felt much more promising, and the running away with a high wrist felt very, very solid as a game plan. I'm Brandon Payton. Okay. Hand. This is the final. 
for the 40 kg 13 and under left hand. Kylie Elliott and Esteban Arnado again, please. Get his elbow on the pad. Wrist. Wrist. Ready? Go. Yeah, elbow foul. Elbow foul. There's a stoppage. And an elbow foul now on Lucha. One Inside on. Moving into the 60 kilo on table two. On the A side, we have Yasmin Morneau. On the B side, William Young. On table two, some very, and William. Some very smart arm wrestling going on right here on table number four. Elbow down! We've seen Elbow down styles. for grip! We've seen shenanigans. And our champion on table one, Shoulders. Kylie Elliott. Shoulders! Shoulders. Sorry. It's one and one. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Who's watch his elbow. Watch his elbow. We got coincidental early watch starts his elbow. there. Keep this thing going. We want to see the match on table four. That's going to be a referee. Back from the right. shoulder. I was down to the shoulder. Deep inside. Pickering just about has it, but not quite. She's trying. doing all he can to set these guys up and get this one started. Oh. There it is! And now we go to finals. Day one, the juniors are hanging and banging. There it is, Morgan with the win on table number two. Deep into it on table number three. Pickering with the power position. The draw is running and Pickering your winner. Table one, Raphael Larzon. Throughout both those matches, I had been pressuring up as hard as I could, so I knew that he had to be tired. So I gave it everything I possibly could in the last hit, and it worked out in my favor. Nice, buddy. And there we go. Officially, I am number one in Canada, 18 and under, within 176 uh, pounds. So that's very exciting. On the right hand, at least. On the left hand, I got second place, which was better than I thought because my left really wasn't that great going into it. I hadn't trained it to the same extent that I had to my right, so I was really happy with the turnout. And then after that, which is tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a open class. So that is 176s and under for weight, but any age. So this is against adults and anybody who's going to be competing. So that'll be a big one. That'll be really tough. It's just like the last class I did, but everybody's way stronger. So it's going to be really hard to pull through. Wish me luck, guys.